Hello and welcome to another episode of Coding with Noah. Today we're going to be learning how to use keyboard events to make a green square move across the screen. And we'll mainly be learning keyboard events. So let's get started. What you can see is I have these two variables right here, top and left, and they're controlling the absolute position of this div right here, which is green. So if I change this to 100, you can see it goes down further. And the more I increase left, the more it goes to the right. So if I were to increase this to 200, it goes more to the right. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we want to do is we want to use a special swell tag called swell window, and we're going to use an event on the swell tag. So we're going to use on and then key down is the event. And then we're going to pass it a function called on key down. Now we haven't created this function yet, so we're going to do that right now. And we're going to say function on key down, and that'll take in an event. And we're going to console.log the key code. And then if I go here and I hit the key, you should see the key code. So up is 38. Down is 40, right is 39, and left is 37. So that's pretty interesting. But notice when I hit down, and I'll move up a little bit, you can see it goes down further. And that's because we're not preventing the default action from occurring. So sometimes you don't want to go down when you push down, or the down arrow key. So the classic way to do that is to use E, which is the event, prevent default and now if I do that and I press the down arrow key you can see it doesn't actually go down okay so the other way you can do that in swell is you can use a pipe you can say prevent default so use the pipe sign and then prevent default I'll scroll all the way up and I'll press the down key just let me select it you can see I'm not scrolling down, whereas if I were to take it out and press it, you can see it does go down. So I'm going to put that back in, and there's lots of these pipes. A good one is once, so if you want the event to only fire once, this will only fire once. So if I hit, hit it once, it goes, but if I hit the down arrow key again, you can see it's not logging, so it's only executing once. We're going to turn it back to prevent default. There's also stop propagation as well. So that's good. And let's log out the key codes for um, the arrow keys that we're going to need. So we want to make this move. So I'm going to press the up arrow first. And up is 38. So I'm going to take some notes here. Up equals 38. Let's see what down equals. Down is 40. Um, right, let's see what that is, that's 39, so right equals 39, and that means left has to equal, or I think would equal 37, let's see if I'm right, looks like I am, that's looking good. So now that we have that, we can write some logic to make this move. So I'm going to use a switch statement, there's a lot of ways you can do this. And we're going to put the key code into the switch statement, and we're going to do a case. We're going to say if it equals 38, we want it to go up. So that means top minus equals 50. And then we'll do a break. Okay, so we'll do top first. And then we'll do down, which is, um, which is 40, right? Yep. So if it equals 40, we want it to go down, so we want to do plus 50. And let's test this. So we're going to go up, and I just went up, and down. So that's looking good, but we need to do left and right, which are pretty easy to do. So we'll just copy this, paste that in. So right 37, or we'll do uh, left, actually. Yeah, left is 37. So if we want it to go left, we want a minus 50 from the left, because this is the distance from the left. 
and then if we want it to go right, which is 39, we'll plus to the left. So let's test that to make sure that works. So I'm going to go right, I'm going to go left. All right. So that's how you would do some basic keyboard events. I'll have the starter uh, code in the links below along with the uh, finished one as well. Feel free to play with these examples. If you have any questions, uh, post them in the comments section. And I look forward to uh, hearing, you, hearing from you and seeing you in the next videos. I'll catch you then.